What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the counter component of the Polling WordPress plugin, a free WP Bakery add-on WordPress plugin. So this is the demonstrative page of what does the counter element is capable of. And this is the download on WPORG page of the Polling WordPress plugin. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to download and install the Polling WP plugin. And here's the page backend and the page frontend with the counter elements on it. So you can notice how beautifully designed those elements are and how easy it is to load and edit it, even in the front-end page building editor style. Now, let's start creating our counter page. First of all, we're gonna move to WordPress dashboard, pages, add new. We're gonna click on WP Bakery page builder button. We're gonna add a title on your page. You can use both front end or back end, but to this video, I'm gonna be using the back end editor. We're gonna click on the plus button to add elements and select the polling tab. We're gonna notice the polling WordPress plugin elements, and we're gonna select the counter. A window will open, call it counter settings, so you can apply the title of your counter the counter value the counter value speed the counter value interval and the icon library. We're gonna move, we're gonna change this later, but now let's just stay with the default settings. Let's preview the page, but before that, we're gonna be using the full H raw so we can have more focus to demonstrate the element into the page. This is the default setting. Now let's start customizing it. Let's change the speed. Now, as you can see, it's faster. Let's decrease it a bit. Now, let's add an icon to the element. You can upload special icon sets using the Icon Manager exclusive Polling WordPress plugin system and then upload these icons into your elements. To create this awesome looking content. Now, let's move to the Typography tab. We're gonna change the title tag. You also can edit the font size, the line age, the title color. I'm gonna move to a dark color. The icon size, the icon color, the icon age, the counter line age, the counter size. 
summarizing every single part of the element it's customizable. Now let's start by creating some example layout using this element. So you can see what does this element are capable of into a real page design. First of all, I did add this element into a three columns layout. And now I'm gonna change the background of the column the background color of the column then I'm gonna go to the counter settings design options and I'm gonna apply a margin to give more space to the bottom something bigger Now we're going to do the same with the other elements, but changing the colors. For this one, I'm going to do the, do the opposite. We're going to use white counter contents into a dark color to the column background. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to apply background images or colors into columns. But as you cannot, it's pretty simple and fast. Now, let me do that with our final column. Now, let me just separate the columns using the column gap into the raw settings so we can create a space between columns and we are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio with amazing WordPress themes and great plugins. I see you later! All the best!